Hello, hello. How are you doing, my friend? This is my favorite part of the game, though. Breaking these windows. I love breaking windows. Just for the uh, sake of it. Okay, well, the big one first and then the smaller one. Oh, we can't hit that. She's strong. I wouldn't mess with her. Is that an elevator? Yeah. Is it working though? Yeah, pull that door down. You're really far up. Do you remember that mission in GTA 5? Where you go up on an elevator and it's really far up. Terrifying. Can I give you some advice? Oh my god. Just think about the good parts today. The good parts? Yeah, like you run faster. You're more focused. Oh, you don't feel pain as much. Every bad feeling, your palms sweating, your heart racing, they're all signs you're actually strong. So when you feel afraid, you should think about how your body is getting ready for what's coming. Only when weak may I carry my true strength. Okay, kiddo. Anti electricity and all that sinful old world stuff. There are exceptions, especially for soldiers. That's convenient. Whoa, there's a note. Uh, pass along, the truce is over. They ambushed one of our groups. We need to show, show our strength. Gather a handful of your, your strongest soldiers and go deep into their own territory. Target any wolves you come across. There is no age restriction for the to the message we must. To the message we must deliver. So you like this prophet, even though her followers want to kill you in her name. She wouldn't want any of this. Her writings don't have violence in them. You should tell that to your people. They weren't killing or hanging people until after she died. They're taking her words and twisting them. Read the mm -hmm. text. Okay. If you say so. <gasps> oh, Castman. Oh. The Yorkshire is here. The Yorch. The Yorkshire. <laughs> Isn't Yorkshire a place? I think I heard of that as a location. How are you doing? It was, a, it was a, really, a really good time last night with the, the Witcher. You, I actually never seen that um, that uh, 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 what? tripping on the words here a bit. Um, Cause I took the other um, uh, option story-wise, so it was kind of interesting to watch. Very different. It's a US state and country. <laughs> yeah, that as well, but also like overall, because I... Uh, I there were some characters I never, or some bosses I never even Fuck haven't that. seen before. Kind of wanted me to, kind of almost made me want to replay it, but then I, I'm like, oh, probably slow. not. I don't know if I can do this. Uh, kiddo, you crazy. We're not. Do we, you want us to climb up on that? 
it, it's not as bad as it looks, huh? Says you. There's no fears. People cross this regularly? Yeah. <laughs> You're lying. I'm not. I mean, it's not the most popular route. Well. Oh my god. Try not to look down. Oh lord. Oh fuck. Don't look down. How you feeling? I've been waiting on all that true strength. <laughs> cool. Cool. <laughs> what? Never mind. What's going on between you and your friend Owen? Oh my god, Lev, now? <laughs> it seemed really awkward. Just go. Oh my god, you're asking that now? Alright, kid. I see how you play. Oh, and Abby were, you know, they were plowing yesterday. I did it! Owen also had another girl pregnant, so there's some, you know. Romance drama going on. Lev, come here, I'm gonna hug you. You're not gonna wanna hug me in a second. It's a lot of drama. Why? Heterosexual, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, Lev. It's gonna well, be okay. Eyes on me. Shit. There is not just that. I think there's some maybe seen some other sexual orientation oh. actions as well earlier in the game. So Fuck. they're not discriminating. <laughs> Oh. Okay. How are you not terrified of this? And don't quote the prophet to me. Heights never scared me. What does? The ocean. Dogs. Holy fuck. Well, I guess. I mean, Almost there. I'm right there with Abby. I would be terrified of this. I mean, I wouldn't even go up here to begin with. <laughs> Yeah, there's the hospital. Oh, fuck. Focus on me. I can't do this, Lev. I can't do this. Yes, you can. I can't. No. You're going to. Come on. Choose no. No, I ain't no. No. Oh. Pfft. Oh my gosh. Um. Oops. Actually. Abby and uh, Owen didn't, uh... Well... You can look up the cutscene yourself. Oh my god, okay. You know... I mean, this is pretty accurate how, I, how it would be for me, but... Don't. Don't. You know, this balancing mechanic we haven't really had to encounter before, so it's a bit weird having that now. Like, it's been there before, but never really been used. She already fell. Well, here is some water, kiddo. You seen it? Damn, I didn't. You already. Hmm. Is that the first thing you look at in video games? Like the sex scenes? Owen is definitely that type of guy I would like to date, it. though. Please. And it's good to know that he does it in the in the bum. Okay. <laughs> it's that's good to know. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Ähm. Now this char kid character here has alluded to it's also a transgender character. Where to now? And the cult not accepting that. What do you mean? This is the right building, but I think she was I've never been to this Lynn, I think her but original she name was. The because they kept calling her that. Okay, well. Let's see if we can find our own way down. That's why I'm playing. Oh, of course, of course, and that's why some of us also are playing um, Mass Effect. Then when I, that cutscene is very strange though. With the when they have sex, it's sort of like they they have like a big fight and they almost, almost like strangle each other, and then they're like, time to make love. <laughs> Very weird. But I guess that's how it works. In this, dra in this dramatic world. Oh, look, a door is not locked. That's never happened before. Maybe it wasn't luck. Maybe it was. Some wolves believe in God. I've heard them pray. You heard them pray? Well, I don't. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die for me. I believe in Abby. What are you doing here? Why did you come back for us? Guilt. Of what? You don't owe us anything. I just needed to lighten the load a bit. Well, bang. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. We bang. Good old Mass Effect banging. Nothing beats it. Well, this is sort of how gyms kind of are going to look like when they reopen, right? Well, this is how they looked during quarantine, I should say. Okay, so where are we actually supposed to go? I don't want to miss on miss out on anything here. Cause I sort of made a took a detour and don't know where I ended up. Nothing in the showers. I love your guys' emotes, by the way. Like, they're really funny. <laughs> I love the donkey emotes. Okay, so this is where we came in. Okay. Okay, okay. I see. Who made them, by the way? Who is the talent behind them? Is that? Is that thing? Nope. Nothing. Nah, there's nothing in here. Another rare. Oh. Okay. Very talented. I feel like she really captured you guys. Like how you are as uh, a character. I don't know if a character is the right way to put it, but as your personalities. Perfectly. I think she captured it perfectly. 
Okay, we should read this note here. <coughs> Please don't leave valuables lying around while you're on shift. We have an employee safe in the cleaning closet in the lobby. The code is in the code is the same as the Wi-Fi, Shirley. Okay, we have to look up the Wi-Fi. Uh, well, this is this takes place after 2013, so yeah, there will be Wi-Fi. When actually did Wi-Fi become a thing? Speaking of that, does anybody know? I surely don't. I, I can't even remember a life without it. A lifetime, I should say, without it. I guess. So there is supposed to be some Wi Fi stuff. Okay, so here's the lock. It's all the characters are in her facility. Yeah. Maybe I should hire her. One day. Where would they hide the Wi-Fi? You know, when you're going to hotels and stuff like that, they often have like some sort of like card you can pick up and, be, and take with you to the room, and uh, then the, uh, and then there's the code on there. Uh, good question. But what two thousand? I'm, I'm gonna look up. Yeah, please do. Oh, here's the Wi-Fi. Oh dear, <laughs> twelve. I, uh, I'm gonna take a photo of that. <laughs> I'm lazy. I'm not lazy. I'm just. I don't know. Lazy and lazy. All right. I just want the goodies. What does this say? Refre refre wait refrack. Weights after use do not drop weights. Okay. Actually, Abby sort of made me kind of want to maybe start like bodybuilding, kind of. I kind of can. I'm a little bit inspired by her, and that might sound terrible because she killed someone very dearly to us. But her strength and muscles are quite impressive. I want to. I want to be like Abby when I grow up. And take it up the bum. <laughs> like Abby does. Uh, 18. Uh, abs like Abby. Yeah, exactly. Is that 79? Yeah, that's 79. Okay, there's gotta be some really good stuff on here. Did it. Bottom like Abby. Honestly, she's kind of bottom goals. <laughs> I have a lot to learn from her. <laughs> no, it's skinny. <laughs> um. Is that a fax machine? That's a fax machine, right? I only seen one fax machine in my whole life, and that was the head teacher in my in my. Uh, in uh, what is it? not kindergarten, but above that school, they had that, but I've never seen that outside of that. There's our way down. If we get to the street, we'll be right by the hospital. Oh, just a body. One of yours? No. Check out the clothes. Here. Looks dark down there. Oh, I see how this works. Sab Victor Arena and orders to clear out this building. Uh Sab Victor and Arena are dead. Uh, Avery and Melly are missing. And I'm bit. The nest was bigger than we anticipated. I tried to blow them up, but there's fucking but the fucking detonators were, f were fil faulty, faulty, faulty. Figures the fucking Fedra incompetence is what's going to kill me. Sorry, mate. Sorry, you have to die. Love, I guess are there not really. In this building? We always take elevators down to the bottom, so I don't know. So 
what are what are you you I, would, I guess you have seen playthroughs of this game so you probably know how the story goes what are your thoughts on that george like how do you feel about it spores masks on i don't have one do you guys not believe in gas masks we were on the run are you one of those no mask people as well let me see what I can find. wear a mask okay not only for your own protection but others don't be selfish I'll be stuck here. better start praying and make it there is a mask behind here him or they I mean they um just use that okay. one Gas mask. Gas mask. that guy uh, maybe it's a bit disgusting maybe it's uh, maybe it's broken actually they might not be able to use it only some bits here and there and not got much idea of the story as a whole yeah i i mean i think some of the motivations might be a little bit weak like abby's motivation i mean i get it i mean she want to kill the man that killed her father but i mean everything is about killing in this game and someone having some sort of Shit, issue with someone um that sort of is the plot Someone has an issue with someone, so they want to kill them. <laughs> but that simplifies it a lot, but... Uh, it's all about killing an anal in this game. <laughs> yeah. Which maybe is metaphorical. I don't know. Maybe it's a metaphor for something deeper here in life. I don't know. The anal stuff. Of course, I'm talking about. <laughs> but I do kind of like Abby as a character. I can't say I hate her. Or feel the urge to, like... Uh, attack her voice actor and motion capture actor. <laughs> Not that I would ever do that, something like that, but because it's like looks. Even if I hate her, the character. Like, why should I like try and threaten the voice actor that I'm gonna kill her family? <laughs> I guess people are. I mean, I'm invested in The Last of Us, but. I'm sort of that kind of person that is like, okay, I go along with whatever the story, where the story wants to go. It's not my decision where the story should go. And also, didn't peep th this the script for this game leaked, so people can't be that surprised by what happens. Like some people, I mean, I didn't know, because I didn't read the read the leaks. But I always had a feeling that Joel was Joel was gonna get what was coming for him, you know. Mm-hmm. That has happened. The voice actor of, for Abby has been threatened on Twitter. And other social medias. I mean, it's also kind of a woman thing too, right? Because it's always the boys who are doing it. We don't see many women threaten... Threaten, uh, you know, voice actors and stuff like that. It's always boys. I call, I'm gonna call them boys. I don't think they're grown men. Most of them. There's a difference. And I guess, you know, I can I can get it. They built their whole life. Their Welcome. Life. Oh, oh right. thank you, Ult Ultimate Ultimate Wharf. Wrath? Not Wharf. Wrath. Thank you for not follow. I mean they might have built their whole identity around something and they're you know, they're young and in the they you know. Yeah, this the plot means everything to them and they live by it and die by it <laughs> so they have to threaten 
the voice actor of, of a character if they it's if good. the story goes somewhere they don't want it to go, I guess. I don't get that mentality. But it's not the first time that has happened. I mean, Mass Effect 3. Hello. <laughs> um, they also mean... I, I, it wasn't only... Bioware wasn't only getting, like, you know, cupcakes with, diff with like, colors. Different colors. There's... Oh, a stalker. Um, but they also got death threats and bomb threats. And even if, you know, it's just trolls being dickheads, it's still a threat. And you never know. You can never be too... You can't be... Oh. They do, sadly. Well, women in the video game industry overall. And other industries overall get attacked. Sadly. And trans people and queer people. It's just something... If you're part of a group of people that, that maybe comes from another perspective, then the heteronormative perspective, you're going to get punished for that. Sadly. I used to actually watch a, um, a short documentary about uh, LGBT people in Poland before I came, before I started the stream. And it's fucking appalling how, how bad it is for people in Poland who are LGBT right now. The fight is far. F the fight for right our our rights are far from over. I mean that we also know already what happened last month. <laughs> All our rights are under scrutiny. Yep, we do. But there are good things too. I mean the Black Lives m Movement. Black, Black Lives Matter movement is very... I'm glad to see it's actually... I'm glad to see it has... How far it's been taking off. And... It's, take, it's been taken seriously. Because I followed... I mean, I, the Black Lives Matter movement is not new. It's been around for a long time. Um, so seeing them... Having such... I don't know if I want to say success. <laughs> Finally getting... Being able to do... You know, get justice for people. Rather, social media does only care for a certain amount of time, yeah. I do think the Black Lives Matter movement has been holding on though, because I still see it. Maybe it's just because I follow the people I follow. And... I mean, I still see that stuff in my feed. Uh, but that's probably because I follow people who are black, queer, gay like me. <laughs> so I get that in my feed on Twitter and stuff like that. Which I think everybody should... I think everybody should uh, have their, you know, pay attention to it. Even if you're not pro, if, if, even if you're not doing some online protesting, you should look up what's going on and have an eye on what's going on in the movement. That's true. Yeah, I mean, social media sort of if is social media is a great start off for something, for a movement. I think. I think we've seen that quite... Uh, we've seen the power of social media a lot during... Uh, even during, you know, the pandemic now and the Black Lives Matter movement that it can actually have a very big effect on people and... I mean, I'm not gonna... 
I'm not gonna leave 2020 forgetting about George Floyd and stuff like that. And that's gonna be stuck in my memory. So, and hopefully many others. It's not gonna be just a day or two. That was not a day or two just then going away. It was not that type of thing. It was not some sort of, you know, YouTube celebrity drama. It was, you know, an actual movement that was, start was starting. That was st starting, but it was taking off in a way it never has done before, really, I think. Well, you know. It's a lot this year. This year has been a lot. It's been a lot of bad things. And there's been a lot of, I think, good things too. I don't, I don't think we're gonna get up. I don't think we're gonna leave 2020 don't, not changed. Like, I think we're all gonna have something. We're gonna be changed going into this new decade. I think things are gonna be different. For good thing. For good reason. For good, for good thing. For good reasons. I missed. I don't know what I'm. T I can't talk. We can also. We can. You know. To all the Americans, we can try and get the the asshole. That is running, America off the president. The president post. That would be a good fuck you, to him. And honestly, it's a fuck you to him because he's such a narcissist. Um. I came out of my Brooklyn apartment and the names of hundreds of black police brutal yeah, things were written on yeah. God damn, Jesus. The, the tension is still here. I hope it keeps making good pro progress, yeah. I mean there is a difference between, you know if you know, if there's a a white kid disappearing or a black kid. For some reason, there is this discrimin- discrimin- uh, there's, there's a lot of, you know, it's not equal in- e there's no equality and just, people don't care about hearing about black kids or black women getting murdered or, or trans women, black trans women, you know. There's, their voices has been silenced for so many years. I'm not taken seriously. Where are we supposed to? Where are we supposed to go here? By the way, I'm going on a deep political rant here. Um. So uh, that's something we as society needs to work on, for sure. Even if we live in a more I mean, I noticed a lot of bit with people who live around where I am. I think we're supposed to go back, right? I don't want to be a complete asshole to people who live around me and, you know, completely, you know, you know, they're white people. I mean, I'm white too, but, you know, they don't, they don't seem to have any sort of like queer people around them. They don't hang around people who are different. They just hang around with, you know, other white, middle-aged, upper-class people. And to me, that's kind of like... Not just boring, but sort of like, how are you supposed to learn about how you're present. people? Like, how are you supposed to? Isn't it kind of important to learn about other cultures and stuff like that? Thanks for the help. Here. Oh my god, thank you. Oh my god, you're getting me, you're getting my bitties hard. We're taking too long. <laughs> can't move any faster. Do thank you, George, better. for that. Yeah. I'm not, I don't know what I'm talking about. I just be mumbling around about here. Thank you so much for that. That's very... My hot, hot bitties. Um... Did you see a way down? No. But I must say, I'm really... I appreciate that... This game has... Has a lot of... Different type of characters and... I don't know what Abby's sexuality is, but she is sort of breaking stereotypes about muscular women who are, you know, 
she, she gotta be a lesbian then it's like no she doesn't have to be a lesbian because she has muscular has a muscular body and stuff like that That's, there's so many stereotypes and shit you know and I like that they they are breaking them just like Bioware did with uh, uh, a character in Andromeda where people were like oh she's the obvious lesbian character and then she was only a straight option <laughs> Roman straight romance option. I like that because it's a good fuck you to all those prejudiced people. And I like a good fuck you. 